Are you living in pain? Is it joint pain or muscle pain? If so, stay tuned. Welcome to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow from the Joint Rehab and Sports Medical Center in West Los Angeles. This is the program that can give you effective solutions for the pain that you've been living with. (coughs) Dr. Darrow is a medical doctor board certified through his studies at UCLA, and Dr. Darrow uses stem cell and platelet-rich plasma therapy to heal your body. He teaches about the use of stem cells, PRP, and prolotherapy. Today's program could open up a new life without pain for you. To speak with Dr. Darrow, call 866-870-KRLA. That's 866-870-5752. Ask for a copy of Dr. Darrow's book, Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy. Now, here's Dr. Darrow with his co-host, Nita Valens. Well, hi there, Dr. Darrow. Hello, Nita Valens. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? I'm living it up. You're looking gorgeous. It's a gorgeous day, and we're going to have fun teaching people how to heal their musculoskeletal orthopedic pain without surgery. All righty, then. So if you're looking for surgery, don't come to me. (laughs) (laughs) No, baby, they should come to you for another opinion. Well, that's true. That's true. That's a really good point, which is um, too many people, when they get a second opinion about surgery... They're going to the same type of doctor who does surgery. So what do you think the answer is going to be? The same type of answer, right? Right. So, Anita, do you know what happens when a snowman throws a tantrum? All the snow just goes, like, all over the place. It does, because he has a meltdown. Oh, I love that. What goes up and down but doesn't move? A seesaw. Stairs. Oh. But you're, cl- Nita, you're getting so edgy here today. I'm very Oh. Proud of you. I'm going to give you one more. Okay? Well, uh, maybe you want to give the phone number first for a quick I will, minute? but okay. extra credit for you. Oh, boy. Here we Why go. Why did the cookie go to the hospital? To get crumbs. Oh, my God. You are so edgy because he felt crummy. <laughs> Can you believe it? Three times you were right on the edge of my on words. On the edge. That's hilarious. So, yeah, the phone number to talk to me live right now, guys. Mark Darrow, MD. And gals. I've been doing. And gals. Guys and gals. We can't say guys anymore. That's right. Uh, for regenerative medicine, meaning how do you heal your body with stem cells or PRP, platelet-rich plasma, without having a surgery? Call me. The phone number to the studio live right now, 866-870-5752, and you get a free sort of a consult right here, a bedside, what do they call it, a a curbside consult. I can give you my opinion on what's going on, and uh, you can also get a free consult with my staff if you call the office now. And the number there is 800-300-9300. Office number 800-300-9300. And for those of you that want to watch videos of me doing the procedures of stem cells and platelets, go to my website, www.jointrehab.com. www.jointrehab.com. Anyone that connects with with us, we give you a free book that I wrote. It's called Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy. Regenerate, don't operate. That means we're going to grow back the tissue instead of cutting it out and destabilizing the area. And the nice thing about the injections that I do with stem cells or platelets is you walk in, you get injected, and you walk out. You don't even need anyone to drive you. You don't need anesthesia. Uh, It's very, very conservative type of a treatment that has been working on my body for over 25 years. Awesome. Yeah, I've injured myself many, many times. Every single time I've injured myself. And you still look great. Well, I hope so. Would you like to talk to Dorothy? I knew you were chomping at the bit there, even though I wasn't finished, Nita. That's okay, finish. Yes, Dorothy and Dick, we got you on on the back line there, so hang with us. Dorothy, you had both knees with another doc. What does had both knees mean? What happened? Dorothy, are you with oh, us? What was, the, what was the question? 
Well, you said you told our call screener you had both knees with another doc. You had what with both knees? Well, I had both knees uh, uh, injected with uh, stem cells and the uh, enriched platelets. Okay. And I I had it done July 25th. That was two weeks, two months and one week ago. Okay. And I stayed home for three days and really tried, you know, took care of them. I stayed off them. But um, I'm a nurse, so I have to work and go into patients' homes and... I tried very hard to do as little as I could, but I lived in a, a condominium upstairs, and I tried hard not to do the stairs very often, but I was still doing stairs, and I didn't see anything happening okay. until like two months later that I'm starting to feel a little better. Well, that's but good. Like, Congratulations. Well, I still don't feel... It's not enough, I mean, is what I, you're saying. What should it's I be... Not... not enough. Not enough. I'm still in pain... And, um, you know, I, I quit wrapping my legs with the ACE bandage because I sure. didn't know if compression would be hurting them. I guess I'm asking you, am I doing too much activity? Have I ruined the any chance that the stem no, you cells haven't, will grow? You, you haven't. Let me talk for a minute here because you gave me a lot of information okay. to talk about already. <laughs> okay. Um, people think that stem cells or platelets are a miracle cure. You get it done and you go fly to the moon. It doesn't work like that. It works Mm -hmm. in a very simple way. Every time you're injected, and I say every time because it's often more than one time, you are stimulating tissue to grow, and you may have relief overnight. I've had relief overnight when I've done these treatments on myself. Yes, I do inject myself. I've done both my knees, shoulders, elbows, my wrist. I've had other people do my my entire spine and every rib, Mm. hundreds of injections. Uh, Because I'm an old, beat-up, gymnast you know so and I do sports pretty hard I still at the age of 75 I'm still sprinting up in the mountains where I live and I don't enjoy I don't enjoy easy stuff I like tough stuff and I feel great when my body is being used you know what I mean so I've been injured in the last over 25 years many many times every time I've done it I've been injured and I've injected myself. I've gotten better, but sometimes it takes more inject more than one injection. My protocol, oh. and not every patient does it this way that I want them to, is to come back in two weeks for an evaluation after their treatment, and then we may inject again if we think it's appropriate. So you had one treatment nine weeks ago, and you think that should have done the job, and I think that's just the beginning. You haven't done too much. You know, you've done some things that, you know, if we could put you in a Petri dish and let you heal, you may have felt better, but you're not that active. And uh, when I get, yeah, when I get people who are avid athletes like myself, uh, we'll go out, we'll get an injection, we'll go out and we'll do the same sport that day and then wonder why we're not better. That's too much overuse. And a lot of guys do that. But uh, from Mm. what you're doing, no, um, I'm sorry you're not. Sounds like you're what ten percent, twenty percent better already. You didn't put a percentage. You know, on that's it. exactly what I'm feeling. About ten and twenty percent. I just thought it would be at least fifty, sixty percent by now. Yeah. Well, you thought, and the body told you different. <laughs> yes, it is. So here's the way I look at stuff. I th- I look at life as spirit directs everything. What does that mean? I can't define it. Everybody has different experiences. So I have patients who heal overnight, and I have patients who never heal. Why do they never heal? They don't repeat the treatment, okay? Or they're way too active, or they're taking anti-inflammatory medicine that blocks the inflammation that's needed for healing, or uh, they have a bad doc. Bad doc is someone who doesn't know what they're doing, and I find that very, very common. Or a doctor is not using an ultrasound. I hope your doctor used an ultrasound to guide the needle. Oh, yes. He, yeah. he used so an ultrasound. Yeah, it so, sounds like you got a good deal with your doctor and that you need to go back and uh, repeat. That's well, my two cents. what about pain management? Is there anything <clears throat> for the pain that I, that I can take? No. No? Nope. You can. Okay. It's just anti-inflammatory medicine blocks healing. It blocks the uh, regeneration of cartilage, which is in your right. collagen, which is 
the backbone of the of the car of the cartilage. So if I'm ten to twenty percent healing, I'm feeling what I'm supposed to feel. I should maybe just uh, wait in, in time. No, wait there's it no out no. I, I wouldn't. I, no, no. You're putting words in my mouth. I didn't say that. I, I said you should go back me. and get treated again. Uh huh. Yeah. By now, I, nine weeks. I would hope you're all better, hundred percent. And waiting longer, I don't, I, don't, I don't think will help okay. you. I know now there's a I lot of docs to... who wait months between treatments, but then the healing uh-huh. can take years, and I don't see a point in that. People want to get better right away. When they're not healed right away, they get frustrated and they irritate the issue more. So, no, I'm a believer in get it done. Don't cut the tail of the dog off a, a little bit at a time. Just chop it off. Get it oh. done. I see. So I had the stem cell and the platelets together as a treatment. You're recommending that same treatment or just platelets? I can't recommend anything because I don't know who did it, and I don't know what was done. Uh-huh. I just recommend that if you're already 10 to 20% better, that means you're on the road to recovery and another treatment is in order. Okay. Okay. Well, but that's, recommend- my, that's my two cents. <laughs> He, well, he was wanting to maybe give me pain relief with that uh, the, a gel that uh, mimics synovial fluid, like that hy- hyolytic acid. Hyaluronic he acid. I would that? never. I would never personally do that. Never. Never. Okay, that's good no. to know. There's prob- when he what, did when he why? did your injections. Did he take fluid out? I don't. You weren't you weren't watching. He put fluid but, in. He put fluid in. And well, he just he put fluid, and I know, but um, uh-huh. oftentimes, if there's an effusion, which means fluid in the knee or other parts of the body, we'll take that out, and then we'll put oh. in the stem cells or platelets. And the point is, I'm not a believer in hyaluronic acid. It's a lubricant. I'm not here to lubricate uh-huh. anything. I'm here to heal it. I'm here to grow the tissue back, and um, so I think. Between you, me, and the and the the bedpost, I think it's a lot of malarkey. Oh, that's just me. Good to know. Yeah, a lot of doctors do it, but I don't think it's good for people. I actually tried it once. I got talked into it by another doctor and his drug rep, and I put it in my uh-huh. knee, and my whole leg blew up for about oh. six months. I was on crutches. Oh. So I'm not a believer in that stuff. It can you can really irritate the tissue, and cause oh. a, a cause uh-huh. a allergic reaction which i had so i i don't ever give it i've never given it to anybody maybe well, maybe in my for... early career i tried it but i never got uh-huh. any great results from it so i don't do it well i'm glad you told me about that yeah thank it's a lesser so it's well, a lesser way you want to fix it and that's not fixing anything it's lubricating and resorbing later down the road the body resorbs it and what people will often fixing. say is it worked for a while and then it didn't work anymore so uh-huh. that's not my thing. Anyway, Dorothy, God bless you. And uh, feel free to call the office if you want a free consult there. 800-300-9300. And uh, we're going to send you a free copy of my book, Stem Cell and Platelet oh, Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. I'll pay the postage. All oh, right? fantastic. God Thank you so you. much. Well, actually, I have a dear friend who lives in Santa Monica that told me about you and your book. And um, I, I would very much like to call your office, and hopefully you can do the next treatment for me. All right. God bless. I'd love to see you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Dorothy. Okay. This is Dr. Mark Darrow, Living Pain-Free. And uh, the number to the studio right now, we have Dick waiting to talk to, so Dick, don't hang up. And uh, the phone number to talk to me live right now, 866-870-5752, 866 870 Five seven five two. If you want a free consult at uh, my office with the staff, call 800-300-9300. If you want to watch me um, on videos of these procedures, I inject all over the body. There's nowhere I don't inject. And uh, the website, so you can watch videos, is www.jointrehab.com. Jointrehab.com. So, Dick, thank you so much for being so patient. And tell us what's up. What's happening? Hello. Your knee, your, yeah, Dick, your knees are bothering you, I, I read here. Hello. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. All right, good. So what's up with your knees? How long have they bothered you for? Well, uh, my the history of my knees, uh, 
back in 2003, I was having knee problems, and the doctors removed the fluid that it went on, you know, for a few months, and finally decided that hey, you got uh, you need an operation. Okay. I went down to La Jolla and got a second opinion down there, and they agreed with that. So in the year of 2003, I had both knees done. What does Which, done mean? Did you have knees replaced? or Replaced, uh, yes. Okay. And uh, they work fine. My problem, though, is I guess when they operate, and you know better than I do, they move the cartilage around or something. I have no padding there. <clears throat> I can't get on my knees. It's very, okay. very strenuous and, uh, and hurts for me to try to get on my knees. Okay. So what happened is all the cartilage was taken out if you had knee replacement. There was an amputation at the top of the tibia and the bottom of the femur, you know, thigh bone. So there's nothing uh, biological in there, all right? It's just metal or plastic or a combination. Okay. Now, so I got to live with it then. No, I didn't say that. Oh. Yeah. Um, I'd have to examine you and see if there's something on the external part of the knee that's causing the problem and take a look with an ultrasound, see if there's fluid that's built up there. Um, I'd say the first place to start is with the doctor that did, did your knee replacements and ask him. And then if he says, there's nothing I can do, then come on in and see me. Well, I can't... He, he's long retired. That was 20 years ago. Well, see another ortho, you know, whoever did it. Yeah. Well, but you're I local. didn't know you're whether in... or not to, you could move the cartilage back around or regrow it. There's or no what? cartilage. It's gone. Yeah. It's been removed and thrown in the trash. Yeah. So we can't regrow the cartilage there, but you may have external tissue around the knee, around the prosthetic help. knee that might help. Yeah. Well, and the thing for me to do is come in and see you. you can that would work. The, yeah. The number to the office, you can call right now and get a free consult from the staff is 800 300 300 And okay. I, I well, should I'm put a, this. I'm only five minutes away from you. I'm in West Virginia. Oh. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. And I should mention that we have a um, another doc working with me now who's doing all my injections for me. His name is Dr. Thomas Grove, and he's been trained exquisitely by the top doctors in regenerative medicine and by me. And, Very good. Uh, he's an athlete. Well, then I'll make an appointment to come over to your office and uh, let you look at him and see if there's any... All right. Oh, for putting some kind of padding there so I can get on my knees. Easy. Well, I'm not sure if we can put any padding in there, but well, there may be some inflammation, some fluid or something like that that we can take well, out. That's that's my situation then. Yeah. Dick, it's been a pleasure. God bless you for calling in. And um, for those of you that want to call the office for a free consult with the staff, 800-300-9300. And Gloria, we're going to get to you in a second. The number to the studio to talk to me live right now is 866-870-5752. You can call me now, live, 866-870-5752. And I just want to mention again, Dr. Thomas Grove is doing my injections for me, and he has had the best training on the planet. I'm around the office, kind of watching what's going on, and he is absolutely terrific. He played linebacker. For the Cornhuskers in college, he's a big athlete, and he knows more about regenerative medicine than just about anybody on the planet, so feel very comfortable in his hands. And if you go to the website, www.jointrehab.com, you can see a write-up about him there and see what he looks like, and he is just absolutely terrific. I'm so excited to have him on staff. <coughs> Would you like so, to speak to Gloria? G L O R I A, the famous song when I was growing up. Are you How are you, sing Gloria? I'm Gigi now because of my initials. <laughs> What's that? It's not Gigi because of my initials. I have two G's and two I's, first and last name. Oh, okay. So you're Gigi. I love it. It's cute. Okay. Well, yes, good morning, uh, Dr. Darrell. I'm really pleased to hear, uh, hear from you. And it's been a while, but I have been suffering so long from hip, hip joint pain. Okay. And since I've been working out, it's been making it worse and worse. Okay. So, Gloria, how old are you? 74. Okay, so I'm, young, I'm older than you. 
My hips don't hurt. Yeah, What's by the difference? one year. <laughs> yeah, I'm 75. My hips don't hurt. What's the difference between you and me? I've been listening. Okay. What is that well, noise? Did a jet just you know? go through your your house? <laughs> <laughs> Gloria, you okay. with me? Yes, I am. Okay. So did you go to a doctor yet to find out what's going on with your hips? Well, they say I have osteoporosis. Osteoporosis doesn't cause pain. What else do they tell you? Well, actually, um, I haven't worked out in a long time, Dr. Darrell, and I went out to run on the treadmill, and yep. I was running and running. I was doing really good until afterwards, and then, and then the weather changed to hot to cold, mm -hmm. and I realized I was starting to get some pain, inflammation okay. in my joints, okay. especially in my socket. Okay. So, um then it started like that, and then now I'm going slower now. Okay. But I still have it. It comes and goes. Okay. So your doctor told you of osteoporosis, which is not related to pain in your hips. What did he tell you about your hips? Okay. Okay what? So, well, okay. <laughs> well, well, I want to know what, why is my, my hips hurting. It well, hurts. you know, I've, I've heard you say three times so far, my hip joint, my hip socket. You don't know that. Yeah. You're making an assumption. The area well, around it, the hips has a lot of things yeah, going area on. Yeah, around the hip, yeah. Around the rims, too. Well, I don't know what rims mean. You need an examination to find out where the pain is being generated from. And I'm going to warn you about something. If you get an x-ray or an MRI and it shows that you have arthritis and they want to do a hip replacement, go run away because that doesn't tell you if you need a hip replacement. You need to have an examination. Most surgeons don't even touch the area to find out where the pain is coming from. And I have tons of people that come in after joint replacements and they have the same pain because it wasn't the joint that was causing the problems. I see. Okay. So examination, examination, examination. My grandfather was a doctor before there were MRIs. And what did he do? He touched the area. What do I do? I touch the area. Right. I don't care what an MRI says. Uh -huh. I get people in the office every day, new patients come in with their MRIs or x-rays, and the films are wrong about where the pain is coming from. And they're ready for a surgery. Or they had a surgery that failed. You know, I think more than half the surgeries fail because they weren't done for the right reason. So make sure your doctor touches the area and finds out, uses his brain, not an image, to find out where the pain is coming from before anything is done. You don't want a surgery that you don't need. Surgeries are replete with all kinds of problems like infections. I just had a patient come in, had two hip replacements, and I said, how'd they come out? Well, they came out okay, except now my one leg is much longer than the other and I'm having back pain. I'm hobbling. Oh, my gosh. You know, I don't know if you know my story. I had a shoulder surgery when I was a young guy in med school, and it ruined my shoulder. Mm -hmm. I found out four years later about regenerative medicine. I injected my own shoulder at night. I woke up the next morning completely 100% pain-free with full range of motion. That surgery did not even get near the problem. It just made me worse. So, you know, don't come to me if you want surgery. I don't like surgery. No, I, I wouldn't want to have that surgery either. I just, I know that when you touch my hips, it hurts. And uh, I am very sensitive on the Yeah, area. well, let me tell you something. If your hip joint's a problem, you can't touch it and make it hurt. Because that joint's very deep. You can't touch it and make it hurt. It's something else that's going on. I would need to examine. You actually be Dr. Grove, Thomas Grove in the office, who um, is trained in regenerative medicine, who's doing most of the work now. Um, my hands have gotten sore over the years from injecting for over 25 years, so he's the new guy on the block, and he's doing great. Plus, you'll like him. He's handsome and pumped up. <laughs> so why don't you write this down, um, Gloria? 800-300-9300. I'll let you get a pencil. 800-300-9300, that's the phone number to the office. You can call there right now and get a free consult from my staff. 
And if you want to watch me inject hips, go to the website, www.jointrehab.com. You can watch me inject many different places on the body. All right? All right, I will do that. There's Thank good hope. There's that. good hope for you because what you're telling me, you know, I don't know for sure, is it's not your hip joint that the problem is. Okay? So don't think about surgery as the answer. It's probably the soft tissue around the greater yeah. trochanter or the adductor muscle where it attaches to the pubic bone. There, or maybe something in the back. People call their hip you know, the area in the low back. There's just a lot of things we have to touch and examine to find out uh -huh. where the pain is being generated from and then inject that area and fix it, regrow the tissue. Uh -huh. All right, so God bless you, Gloria. There's good hope for your healing. Thank you for your call, Gloria. We're going to the break. Stick with us. Uh, you can talk to me live. Dr. Mark Darrow, MD from UCLA, 866-870. 5752-866-870-572. I love orthopedic surgeons. I just don't like all the surgeries they do. Okay, this is Living Pain Free with Dr. Mark Darrow, and we'll be right back. You're listening to Living Pain Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. Dr. Darrow's practice is located Did you at hear the him Darrow do that? Stem Cell Institute in West Los Angeles. To schedule an appointment, Call 1-800-300-9300. That's 1-800-300-9300. Dr. Darrow will be back in just a moment. Stay tuned. <laughs> 